The Ulanzi Deck Dock D200H is a combo of a USB hub and a macro pad, very much similar to the Elgato Stream Deck but half its price. Ulanzi has been my go-to camera gear brand and never thought they made stuff like these. And though this is my first pad or dock from Ulanzi, I'm very impressed with how thoughtful they are with designing this PC accessory. It includes 14 programmable backlit, very well-colored LCD buttons, each supporting key binding and lots of functions to basically streamline almost anything you do on your PC. You also get TF card readers, two USB-C inputs, two USB-A inputs, one USB-C 100 watt power delivery input, and one USB-C input for main PC connectivity. Now, you may refer to the manual that this comes with on how much power is allocated per input, or you may pause this video and take a closer look. Then one of the LCD buttons can show real-time CPU, RAM, and GPU usage that updates every every three seconds or so. A key highlight here is its ability to launch applications with a single button press, providing a practical tool for multitasking or quick access to commonly used software. I'm getting ahead of myself. Hi guys, this is Daniel with the B-Boy Haraneta team. We review new releases, anything PC related, so be sure you're subscribed so you're always updated with new products like this. Now back to the Ulanzi Deck Dock. The D200H provides media controls for seamless management of audio and video playback. With downloadable profile presets, you may freely get pre-made customizations for apps like Adobe Photoshop and other Adobe applications. You also get video editing software presets for Filmora and even DaVinci Resolve. For streamers, it seamlessly integrates with OBS, acting as a central control dock for functions such as switching scenes, beginning or ending streams, and managing overlays. Each LCD button has customizable icons. You may download icons from the Ulanzi App Store, or of course, you may customize your very own and upload them as JPEGs or PNGs. Though the App Store is called a store, most stuff in there is free. And later, we'll be exploring the App Store more and some plugins to make your deck dock D200H way more useful than you think. Inside the box, you get the dock, documentation, and a cable. The cable is really thick. Not sure how much power this can deliver, but this would be about 100 watts or more if I had to guess. The dock is made of CNC aluminum on top and plastic at the bottom half. Underneath, you get anti-slip pads stuck onto the plastic base so it does not move around your desk. It still does sometimes though, especially when I pull on a cable. The USB-C input is at the leftmost side of all inputs. Then you get a USB-C input for 100 watt power delivery. Now this is an input, so it takes in power versus outputs power. This is so the dock will have ample energy to power all LCDs and USB outputs. Speaking of inputs, I like that there are no inputs in front which makes it look cleaner. Some would prefer a USB hub with inputs they can see but it's not necessary for me. The dock is angled for better viewing of the LCD screens. However, I wish it were angled a little bit more or maybe I, or maybe I wish it had kickstands similar to a keyboard. The LCD buttons aren't wobbly but the rubber domes under underneath may feel mushy. You may also actuate the LCD buttons even when the middle is not pressed all the way down. In fact, the button actuates even when you press the corners. Speaking of actuating, you get visual feedback with the icons changing in size to signal a successful bottom press. Speaking of icons, you may upload JPEG and a PNG yet I hope a screenshot function was added for faster assignment of icons. Now back to the buttons. The only thing to watch out for here are the LCD button covers. They're meant to be super clear so you see through the mini LED screens clearly. This makes them fingerprint magnets. So I would avoid eating chips and pressing the buttons. Oil buildup would smudge it. Maintain your dock by wiping the buttons regularly. Anyhow, let's look into its software and let's explore it a little bit more. So I have here the Ulanzi Studio software for the deck dock. Up here, you will see the default profiles that are already pre-installed. You could check on the apps, links, and some tutorial videos. I believe these are videos, but I have not checked them that Ulanzi has prepared already for you. You have here some AI tools that's already created. I've created my own profile right here with controls for Audacity, OBS, and GeForce experience. Anyhow, if you want to add some new profiles, just click on this plus icon right 
right there. It's really easy. You could choose default or a linked preset. I'm not going to create a new profile here. However, let me show you all the plugins that are already pre-installed. So we're going to go over multi-action later on. First, we have here the previous next page. So you could cycle through each of these pages. You have the go to page so that you could skip to a specific page. Say I'm in page four and I want to go to page two, right? Very easy. Add in number two there. There you go. We have the page indicator right here. So we're on page four. Page three, if we add in a page indicator there, it's going to show number three. Now, this is one of the most interesting features, I believe. It's the folder. So you could create a folder here that when you open, it will create a sub page. And in these sub pages, you could also create folders. So I think this is very useful for when you want to hide some apps or you want to hide some files that you want to easily access. Now we have here the switch profile button. So you could switch between the profiles up here. Now, I think it's also worth mentioning that if there are some plugins here that you're not going to be using, like this soundboard, click on this menu icon right there, take the soundboard off, click on done, and it's gone. Right? So it's already hidden and it's not showing anymore. Now for the icons, there are lots of icons that you could download on the App Store. We'll go over the App Store later on in more detail, but it's really easy to download icons. So let me just show you. I clicked on App Store right here, clicked on the icons tab, and then click on download. It's really fast. Moving on to change the icon. Icon, click on this drop down, click on choose icon. Here are the icons that I already have downloaded. You could also upload a JPEG or a PNG. I'm not sure if this accepts WebP files, but um, I'm going to have to check that later on. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, of course, and I'll get to you when I can. All right, now let's go over some of the more advanced controls. You have your system controls. You could add in the open plugin where you could open a folder or a file or even an app. So there are two separate buttons right there for folders, files, or apps. Moving on, you can close the app right here. It's very much similar to Alt F4. You could open websites here, just add in the URL and choose a browser here that the deck doc is going to use to open that specific URL. Next, you have text macros here, pretty much self-explanatory. You have hotkeys here. Uh, I think it's worth mentioning that the hotkeys does not detect mouse clicks and it also isn't insertable here. You have the multimedia button, which I was talking about a while ago. So that single multimedia button could be bound to play, pause, previous, next, stop, basically everything you don't need for multimedia controls. You have here the hotkey switch. I have it bound to AD, AD. If I keep on pressing that, it's going to keep switching functions, right? So very much straightforward. Moving on with the OBS Studio. I'm not going to go over each of these settings. Um, Just take a good close look. Pause the video if you have to, to see all the controls that you have here for OBS. Now that that's done, let's go over the plugins. We have here the App Store right up there. I think one of the coolest plugins here is the stock. So if you install that, you could monitor a specific stock. Stock. Moving on, there's also another plugin here for Bitcoin. There you go. So Bitcoin ticker. So this will help you monitor the value of Bitcoin. My wife would definitely use that. Moving forward, you have your OBS, which is already pre-installed. Microsoft Excel. So many plugins for you to choose from. Now let's move on to the profiles. These are default buttons that you could install onto your deck dock. You have one for Adobe Photoshop and a lot more of Adobe's apps. Scrolling down here, you also have one for Filmora, DaVinci Resolve, but one thing that I'm looking for here is a default profile for CapCut. Oh, by the way, I think it's worth mentioning, I clicked on feedback a while ago and I just sent them a request to create that specific profile. So let's see what you, Lanzi, will do about it. Moving on to the icons tab right here, there are so many icons to choose from. My favorite icon, which we already have installed before this video, is the Hitman icon. Um, you don't get to see how many icons there are. Um, at least the lovely sim raising shows that it has 300 plus, but the others aren't showing exactly how many. And I think what Yulanzi has to do here is to give us a better preview of the icons. So we have the Photoshop icon sample right here, and that's only one. I'd like to see the other icons, very much similar to these thumbnails, right? It gives you a good idea of what the icons look like. Oh, this one looks good. Radiant Photo, let's download that. So I'll just click on download. There you go, installed. Anyways, let me exit out of this, click on this drop down icon, click on choose icon, and it should be here. Of all the docs and decks, that I've tried. This is the best. I have a lot of my devices hooked onto it. Plus, it powers them up pretty easily thanks to its 100 watt PD input. Anyways, I'll leave links down in the description below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Again, this is Daniel with the Biba Hatanera team. We'll see you guys again next time.